let's compare negative numbers we are going to compare negative numbers with uh, other negative numbers or with positive numbers so let's begin with this number line we have the number line in front of us and we can locate the numbers on the number line and compare let's start with a pair of positive numbers 5 and 10 we know that 5 is smaller than 10 so let's write 5 is smaller than 10 if you are ever confused with the sign of less than or greater than what you do is you look at the sign as a triangular shape and the side at which only one corner points is the smaller side that's the smaller number and the side at which two corners point is the bigger side or a bigger number so we know that 5 is smaller than 10 then the next pair is 0 and 5 again you know that 0 is smaller than 5 I have located these numbers on the number line so you can look at the numbers and you can see that 0 is on the left hand side of 5 and 5 is on the left hand side of 10 that means you can see that on the number line the value of the number increases as we move to the right and decreases as we move to the left so let's consider the next pair negative 5 and 0 negative 5 is on the left side of 0 and it is smaller than 0 why because negative 5 means 5 less than 0 so of course it is smaller than 0 now the next pair is negative 10 and negative 5 negative 10 is smaller than negative 5 because negative 10 means 10 less than 0 and negative 5 means 5 less than 0 so negative 10 is smaller than negative 5 and it is also on the left hand side of negative 5 so looking at this number line and what we have seen so far let's come up with some basic rules you can see that all the positive numbers are on the right hand side of 0 and they are all greater than 0 because they are positive numbers they are greater than 0 0 itself is neither positive nor negative and all the positive numbers are greater than 0 if you look at all the negative numbers negative numbers by definition are the numbers that are smaller than 0 so you can say that all the negative numbers are smaller than 0 or 0 is greater than all the negative numbers another thing to notice is that all the negative numbers are on the left hand side of 0 the next thing you can see is that from 0 if you go towards right the farther you go the larger the value is that means from 0 if you start going towards right then 10 is greater than 5 20 is greater than 10 100 is greater than 20 so farther from 0 on the right you go the larger value you get that's the next rule we have learned what happens if you go on the left from 0 the more left you go the smaller value you get that means negative 10 is smaller than negative 5 negative 25 is smaller than negative 10 and negative 1000 is smaller than negative 25 so farther from 0 on the left you go the smaller value you are going to get so these are the important rules that we have learned and these are quite easy you can look at the number line you can either draw the line or you can visualize it and think about it and these are quite easy rules to understand now let's use what we have learned and compare some numbers the first pair is 0 and negative 9 you can look at the number line if you want 0 is greater than negative 9 anyway we know that 0 is greater than all the negative numbers the next one is negative 9 and negative 3 you can see that negative 9 is on the left hand side of negative 3 and negative 9 means 9 less than 0 and negative 3 means 3 less than 0 therefore negative 9 is smaller than negative 3 the next pair is 2 and negative 12 this is quite easy you know that 2 is a positive number so it is going to be greater than negative 12 or if you want to look at the number line you can see that 2 is on the right hand side and negative 12 is on the left hand side of the number line so of course 2 is greater than negative 12 
the next one is 2 and 12 both are positive numbers i have just written this for fun you know that 2 is smaller than 12. the next thing is to order the given numbers either in ascending or descending order now this is the first set of numbers 15 0 negative 11 negative 23 1 negative 4 and 7 we have to write these numbers in ascending order that means the smallest number comes the first now out of all these numbers which number is the smallest number negative 23 because if you look at the number line negative 23 is the leftmost number so negative 23 is the first number followed by negative 11 after that comes negative 4 you can see i'm going from left to right because we are looking for ascending order so after negative 4 it's 0 after that it's 1 7 and 15 the rest of the numbers were positive numbers so it's quite easy now here is the next set negative 8 negative 18 and negative 13 all the numbers are negative we have to arrange these numbers in descending order descending order means the highest number comes the first out of these three numbers which is the biggest number negative 8 because we are now going to go from right to left since it's a descending order we go from right to left so the first one is negative 8 followed by negative 13 and the last one is negative 18 this is how you compare negative numbers